evening. It is time now for your Sunday money. Today's Sunday money topic comes from a viewer who asks, I'm retired and thinking about getting a part-time job. How will that affect my Social Security benefits? Interesting question. Well, let's ask our money man, certified Paul, certified financial planner, Paul Fain, who joins us again for your Sunday money. Paul, if I could speak this morning, <laughs> you're, that would be you're great. doing great, John. Hey, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Thanks for being here. So interesting viewer question we have yeah. here about uh, just some, some money stuff here. Well, I think our, our viewers uh, got a hint that, that it's nothing's ever simple with the uh, with the Internal Revenue Service. So yeah. if you retire before your full retirement age, the age at which you would draw full Social Security benefits, then there is an earnings limit, $17,640. If you earn more than $17,640, then you may have to uh, give up uh, a dollar of benefits for every $2 you earn above that, that limit. Uh -oh. So a lot of times if someone retires early, like at 63 and starts Social Security, they, they're careful not to exceed the earnings limit and start losing their benefits. That's really interesting. I know a lot of people are thinking about that for sure. Um, I guess it, what really what you'd have to think about is just make sure you know the rules, right? Yeah, a, a, exactly. And, and, you know, it all comes back to budgeting, right? What you mm -hmm. can afford, is particularly if you're retiring early. That but once you reach your full retirement age, which is usually somewhere between age 65 and 67, then there's no earnings limit. You know, you can okay. make 17, 18, 25, make... Uh, continue to work part-time if you wanted to. That makes sense. So in general, Social Security benefits may be taxable as well, correct? That is correct. So uh, there's a key number. It's called your combined income. So if you take your adjusted gross income plus non-taxable income like municipal bond interest and then add half your Social Security benefit, you come up with a combined income. Now, that combined income then is used to determine whether part of your Social Security benefit is taxable. If you're an individual making over 25000 or a couple uh, making over 34000 then up to 50% of your Social Security benefit is taxable. And if you make over 34 or 44, whether you're individual or jointly, up to 85% of your Social Security benefit is taxable. Oh, so wow. if you have larger retirement income, you're probably going to be paying some taxes on part of your Social Security benefit. And that makes a lot of sense. I feel like most people in Knoxville here probably make more than that, don't you think? Well, you add up things like maybe you have a pension plus you know half your Social Security plus yeah. some interest and dividends from your investments or your 401k. It's quite possible that part of your Social Security is going to be taxable. Yeah, no doubt. Well, let's talk about the fast market fact today, Paul. What do you have for us here? Well, the social, you, you hear people talking about the Social Security Trust Fund and when's it going to run out? <laughs> well, the, the trust fund itself runs into some pr projected problems around 2035. But what is the Social Security Trust Fund? Well, it's what goes in to pay out uh, Social Security benefits. So about 87% of it is from payroll taxes. An employer pays in 6.2% of your uh, your earned income. We, you, pay 6.2% of your earned in income into the Social Security Trust I do. Fund. I notice on every paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all, right? Yes, yes. Well, that's funding all the all the retirees, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So uh, when the government takes in these funds in their right pocket, they then put it in their left pocket in, tr in U.S. Treasuries, and they can use it for other purposes. That's a whole other show. Oh, boy. <laughs> but they pay interest on that. So that provides about 8.5% of the Social Security Trust Fund. And then the 3.8% is what we were just talking about a minute ago. The, the tax on Social Security benefits of retirees also goes into the, the trust fund. Absolutely. Well, good stuff, Paul. Always good to hear from you. Good to I, see you. I'm, I'm trying to work on my own financial money, so I'm always trying to listen. Come see trying me. To, trying to fix something up for sure. You bet. Questions for Paul, email him, paul at assetplanningcorp.com. As you saw today, he takes viewer questions all the time. So once again, Paul, thank you so much thank for you being John. here today.